Stony Brook University's Southampton campus, in collaboration with West Islip High School Junior Dana Cherisi and a Like to Stand On organization, celebrated the first annual Spring Arts Festival, Hands for Haiti, a student-driven benefit to aid children who are victims of the recent natural disaster in Haiti. The evening included dance, musical performances, and comedic theater created by the Stony Brook students to get the audience engaged for the important cause. 17-year-old Dana Truisi, who has a left arm extremity, recited her own personal speech on what prompted her to develop the fundraiser. This got started. As a member of the National Honor Society, I'm required to do community service. But selling snacks to overdress prepubescent sixth graders at school dance doesn't really strike me as an actively serving the community. But when the earthquake struck in Haiti, I was watching the news, feeling so depressed and helpless. I heard about all the amputations, and I just felt so sad, which is useless in reality. I was saying how horrible I felt, and my mom was like, so do something. And that I did. I found a community service project that I felt passionate about. Guests had the opportunity to take pamphlets about the Alleg to Stand On organization, made monetary donations, and took part in a silent auction for the cause. Dana's mother, Donna Truisi, as well as others, showcased their feelings about the event. came together with Dana and Gabriella to, to raise money for Haiti, and it was so emotional for me that I couldn't hold my tears back, and, you know, as I was listening to it and, you know, when they you know, let it be, and just like Dana said, when everybody comes together to do something, we can do great things. It's absolutely overwhelmed with the, the number of people who came to support the students and the cause, and so we are, we are indebted, certainly, to Stony Brook and to Dana. I mean, taking Dana Teresi's model, and the model I like to stand on, this is a work that's ongoing. And um, the thing that we do today is great, and the thing that we do tomorrow, it's important too. Dana Chuisi describes oh, her I'm feelings. <laughs> I don't really know what to say, but anything you want, you could set your mind to and do. Because look at me, I mean, I'm a nobody, and I did this, you know, like, and it's amazing that everyone came together and did this. So if you want to make a difference, you can. For Dana Cherisi, this is only the first of many humanitarian efforts. She plans to continue to raise awareness about the youth and prosthetics and how you can attain anything by just putting your mind to it. This is Jihan Antoine with Stony Brook News.